welcome to a new video that I'm going to try where I paint and then I talk. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to do that again. Hi, <laughs> welcome to a new video. I wanted to try something new um, and I wanted to do like a paint with me video because I really like watching those while i paint and i kind of wanted to do it like a like a podcast style voiceover except i don't have anyone else here it's just me <laughs> so um yeah i was painting this really retro bathroom using acrylics which I don't necessarily know how proud of this I am. Like, I think I think I did well and like I want to be gentle with, with myself, but also I think I just messed up the perspective a little bit um and like trying to get all the proportions right and whatnot, but I actually don't want to talk about art in this video. <laughs> um, like I said, I kind of wanted to do it podcast style because as much as I love art, I would rather talk about something else. So today's topic is going to be about juggling. Yeah, um, juggling. So I was watching the Great British baking show as i do and one of the hosts on the newer seasons his name's noel fielding and i'm kind of obsessed with him i have the biggest crush on him like it really snuck up on me and i had no idea but then the next thing you know like i was watching it and i was just like looking at him and I didn't want the camera to go away and that I yeah I don't know that that's just a thing but that's not that's not the that's not what this is about but um yeah so anyway he is a beautiful soul who also um I said it wasn't going to be about him but <laughs> He has this, um, I started doing a little bit of research on him because I was just so curious. He's just such a, like, um, interesting looking man. And I just kind of wanted to know more about him. And so I looked him up and he has this comedy show called Luxury Comedy and it's on YouTube and I started watching it um just because I like I said I love this man I have like a deep deep love for him which just caught me so off guard yeah so anyway his his comedy show Luxury Comedy is the most absurd thing I've ever seen. And I mean that in in the kindest and nicest way possible. Um, absurdist humor is probably some of my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I only watched like a couple seconds of it, if we're being honest. But I mean, I'm probably going to watch it just because I love him and I just want to look at him forever. But anyway, okay, back to the topic of this podcast that's not a podcast i was watching the great british bake-off and noel fielding made a comment about juggling and he said that when he went to comedy school juggling was a, a criteria and it's a thing that you need to know, or at least you're taught in comedy school. Or, I don't know if it's called comedy school, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So, anyway, literally just this one second clip of him saying this sent me on, like, a total deep dive on the internet. 
and I just kind of thought to myself, I was like, what? Why is juggling considered funny? Who who said, who started that? Why? Who, who said juggling was funny? So then I just started Googling away. Uh, you're not going to believe what I found out. So apparently, and I guess I'll just, we'll put a little disclaimer here. I... This is based off of Wikipedia. Um, You can Google it yourself if you want to know more about it. I will not say that I am the um, juggling expert, Um, but this is just what I found in my Google deep dive. So buckle up. So what I found is that juggling is actually a religion. And when I found that out, I was just so shocked. Um, But yeah, juggling is actually considered a religion. And they have a saint that they pray to, which um, I can't remember the name of the person, but... Back in ancient times, apparently, allegedly, there was a woman, um, way, 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 way back in time, when juggling wasn't a thing that people knew how to do. So this woman learned how to do it, she was the only person in the world who could do it, or she was the first person to learn how to do it. And she was, she would do performances, I think. And um, also I'm not looking at like the Wikipedia page. So if I get anything wrong, sorry, but also you're on a painting video. So like, I don't think you should be expecting top-notch information okay anyway so this lady was hired by this really wealthy man and i don't know if i'm allowed to say this on youtube i don't really get the rules or anything but this man would host giant orgies back in the day and he would hire this juggle, juggling lady. He would hire her to come and juggle at his orgies. And performing next to her would be um, like silly dancers in funny hats. So then the people at these orgies would give juggling like that silly, funny connotation and I guess that jugglers very very serious jugglers consider this woman to be you know like the the juggling saint in the juggling religion and I'm so sorry if you're a juggler and I have offended you But also, how did you find me here? (laughs) So yeah, anyway. I was just... When I found that out, I was just absolutely... Like, my jaw dropped to the floor. I was so... I was so flabbergasted. And so now, like, because of this this thing that allegedly happened in ancient times now comedy students or comedians have to know how to juggle in order to be a comedian or to graduate comedy school and i got all of that based off of one tiny little three second comment from Noel Fielding on the British Baking Show. 
<laughs> and I was, I've been waiting to share that information for so long and it took me about a million years to uh, to make this video and to actually paint something and film it and edit it and yada 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 so yeah i guess that that is some information i found out recently and i think that it should it should be shared because it's kind of really epic <laughs> but yeah so i guess we'll go back to the art um I, yeah, so like I said, this is an acrylic still life of a retro bathroom. I was doing the highlights with this Posca pen, and I think I go to it really soon, where I do the tile on the floor, and I really, really wish I hadn't done that, because I really messed it up. I got, like, one of the angles wrong, and... And I'll, I'll point it out to you when we get there. Um, anyway, I also was doing my color mixing on this palette that I didn't wash because I'm really lazy. And I had some black gouache on the palette. And um, if you don't know, gouache gets activated or reactivated by water. So as I'm mixing my acrylic paints to try and get like really vibrant pink colors, they were getting mega desaturated by this gouache and I didn't realize it for so long. So like the, I was so frustrated. I remember with the, with the coloring and color matching and whatnot. Um, but anyway, okay, this is the part. I'll show you the exact spot where I mess everything up. So I was just doing it, everything was fine and dandy, going this way, and then as soon as I go the other way, here we go, right there, right there, and then I shift the ruler, boom, painting destroyed. <laughs> just kidding, I, I just, it was just, it's fine, we, it's whatever. So then I went back over and I was trying to cover up the Posca paint a little bit with dabbing some other paint on it and maybe it made it better, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I, I think now, cause I painted this probably about two or two weeks ago and I remember when I was finished painting it, I absolutely despised it. I hated it so much. But now, being myself two weeks in the future, or I guess looking back at myself two weeks in the past, I don't think it's that bad. Sure, it's got some issues, but, you know, I, I don't hate it. It's, it, it's okay. <laughs> anyway, this is the end of the video, and I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope that you like this style of video. Um, hopefully I can make a couple more. And yeah, I, I'll see you guys in the next one.